it all just kind of builds and even the the downturns can lead you on a path to a better path mm -hmm. so at the time i'm heartbroken oh my show got canceled but then you know you look two two years down the line if that show wouldn't have got canceled mm -hmm. i wouldn't have been available for this or that right so then yeah. i got a, a call i remember teaching and um my agent calls they're like hey tarantino's doing a film and there's bruce lee in it wow what, yeah. what what are you thinking inside your head when you get that call i was like here here it is yeah. you know because we've skipped a lot but i mean i had auditioned to play bruce maybe three or four times and for whatever reason i was like second choice or third choice but i was always right there mm -hmm. and i just remember being done with it just like i'm not meant to play bruce that's just not in the cards and then i got this call I flew myself on my own dime out to LA to read for the casting director, but they wouldn't give me the material because it's a Tarantino script and they don't want anything to leak. Sure. So I remember having to go in, I was actually uh, going in to test for another TV show, a couple recurring episodes, HBO's Insecure. Oh yeah, sure. So I, the timing was perfect. I went out there, I did my audition, I bombed it because of guess what? You did. I wasn't, I was like, this would be cool, but Tarantino, Bruce Lee, yeah, that's all I'm that's thinking all, about. Yeah. So it was the same casting director, which was like another, like, you look back as like, this is crazy coincidence. So they were able to just hand me the audition sides. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Nice job with the audition. Here's the Tarantino Here's material. Why you're really here. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Uh -huh. So I had less than a day wow so in that in that day you're probably how long how long were the sides i hold up i i hold up with my uh my best friend he lives in hollywood and i just hung out at his apartment all day and credit to him he ran the lines with me for like six hours oh wow wow and the audition scene was pretty much the whole scene no way because the there's film? a huge monologue and mm -hmm. then a little bit i think I think it was mainly like my monologue, which was like three minutes of nonstop talking. Yeah. So it was like four pages of just straight up dialogue. So are you getting this to a point where you're off book? Almost. I was wow. pretty much off book. Uh, I held the pages. Yeah. Just course. so I could reference it. Right. But I think I did enough that day to be like, and I could see like when I, they started the tape, there was two casting in there and I started talking and they perked up. And oh. I saw them looking at each Doesn't other. Doesn't that help? And I was like, okay, this is going good, <laughs> yeah. right? Just, just don't screw it up. And I yeah. remember them having me do it so many different ways Wow. to prep me. Because if they're going to put me in front of Tarantino, like, I got to be on it. Yeah. They're like, okay, now lose the accent. Mm -hmm. And now sit here and pretend like you're at a campfire with just, like, four friends. All right, now do it again. Double the accent and speak to 100 people. And I remember doing it five, I was in the room for like 30 minutes, just exhausted speaking, you know. So roll out the barrel and get the band brewing. Life's got you down, just keep her moving. 